Hello, so previously I made a bot that picked a random number between 0 and 90, generated this fractal tree using that angle, using processing, made the image, and then posted that image to Mastodon using this coding train bot at botsinspace.com bots in dot space, whatever, bots in space uh, uh, instance. So you can see a bunch of these here. And so now what I want to do is instead of, and, and the bot, if we look at the code, is just executing all of this stuff to generate the image and post it once a day. So what I would like to do now in this video is change it. No, I'm not going to use set interval. In fact, I'm not ever going to post an image. I am only going to post an image as a reply to somebody else. And I'm going to look in their reply, find the angle that they've specified, and send them back a tree with that angle. And you can just imagine the possibilities of things you can do. I mean, one of my favorite, this is a Twitter bot, but one of my favorite bots is Low Polybot. And what Low Polybot does is it's still running, is the question, because most of these bots, you can't, the reason why I'm using Mastodon, one of the reasons why I'm using Mastodon is that you, these don't, I don't think, you can't really run these anymore on Twitter. They've changed the API specifications too much. So the idea is that um, you send in an image and an image processes for you and sends it back. Okay, so I want to connect to the streaming API and I want to connect to the user stream, meaning anytime I get any sort of notification, somebody favorites something, mentions me, reblogs me, if I post something, I think I get an event. So the way that I do that is by saying m dot stream, right? If I, I have to go look it up here in this <laughs> API. M dot stream path and parameters. Uh, returns a stream listener instance. See examples on how to use it. Okay, why not? I've done this already in a previous video, but um, so I could look at my previous code, but let's actually, sorry, let's just go to uh, examples, streaming.js. Oh, we can see that here. So this is what I want to do. I want to connect to the stream create a stream instance, right, connecting to streaming slash user, and then uh, on a particular event, like a notification, was that what it was? Oh no, just a message. So I, it's, the event here is called message, um, and then on a message, and this by the way, uh, I, uh, I've just been told from the chat, thank you to Alka and the chat, that the streaming API doesn't support promises. So in this case, I do have to use a callback, and I can say uh, response, I like to use the word response uh, like this. Now I do want to look up my previous code because I need to figure out what, I need to determine uh, what I'm looking for in that response. So I have that open here and you can see that what I'm doing here is if the, if the event is a notification and if it's a mention, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a mention. So I'm going to say if uh, response.event equals a notification. I'm just only going to do mentions. And response.data.type, I think, equals mention. Is that right? This would be just looking at my previous code. Respond message.data.type. Uh, message.event. So where is the mention uh, in this one that I did? Mention. Ah, message.data, this is right there. Message.data.type. So I'm using different variable names, which is fine. But if the event is a notification and the type of the event uh, is a mention, then now I'm ready to basically do this, right? The idea is if I mentioned, go ahead and do this. But, and I don't need a separate function for this. Uh, what I, so I'm just going to take this here. But what I want to do is I need to add some stuff to this. So for example, I probably want to mention a user account and I want to uh, have a reply ID and also that angle. So I need to, if I'm going to reply, I, I want to at mention them, so I need their account to reference. I also, if I want it to be threaded, I need the ID of that post so I can include that and then the angle I want. So now the angle shouldn't come, oh, I've got to send the angle into processing. All right, that's going to be something we have to figure out. Okay, I'm going to get to that in a second. So let's try to get the whole flow of this working. That, this is an interesting problem that I completely forgot that I had to figure out. So, they, so first, let me get um, the ID is, and I, I, I did this before, so I'm just going to, we can see the ID is this. 
This is pulling the ID out of them, and I, I said response instead of message, which is fine. Um, and then the account name is right here. So I want to also get the account, which is also a response. So I can then pass in the account, pass in the ID. Now the angle is a tricky one. So what am I expecting the person to say? I guess I'm expecting somewhere in their post that there's a number. And um, they could put multiple numbers. I'm just going to pick the first number. So what I'm going to do, whoops, this is by the way my inspiration, the tree bot. But where, where am I? I? I'm looking at my code. Um, I need to get the content of what they've sent me. This is their message content. So what I want to do is use a regular expression. So my regular expression is going to be, I need to find a number. The number that I want is between two and three digits. So I guess I'm going to allow, I mean, do I allow an angle greater than 90? I mean, sure. I, I, could, I could actually, it could be any number, right? I could really just say any number, it doesn't matter how big. Um, so I want to match this. And so if I say regular, oh, so if I say content.match regular expression, is this, now I've forgotten how regular expressions work. So let's just go to the browser for a second and let's um, noodle around here. So let's say if I make a re regular expression and I make it equal to this, and then I have a string like, uh, Hello, 42, goodbye. If I say s.match, that regular expression, what do I get? Ah, perfect. I get what it matched, the index, and some more information. All I care about is what it matched. And I don't need it to be global. I don't need to get all the numbers. Like, I could get all the numbers and average them or something, but I'm just going to get the first one. So this is fine. So then I'm going to, uh, and I do have to deal with the fact, what if it doesn't match anything? So let's see what it gives me if it doesn't match. So let's say s equals this, and I'm going to say s match regular expression. No, so that's fine. So now I'm going to say uh, uh, results equals content match regular expression, and the angle, so I'm going to say if results, or I could, I could if results, I could probably use the ternary thing, then the um, angle equals uh, results index zero. Otherwise, uh, angle equals, oh, otherwise I'm gonna say there's no angle. I could reply and say you need to, you need to, you need to mention me with a number. So I'll, um, so I'm actually gonna just say, yeah, angle equals um, negative one. So I'm going to use negative one as like a, uh, and I can actually just do this. Um, and then do this. Okay, great, 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 great. So now in theory, now I can pass that angle here. So, all right, now one thing I can do, let's just do this. So if, the first thing I want to do is just say, if angle equals negative one, right? If I've gotten a negative one angle, I want to actually just be done. Like I want to say, um, oh, but I have to mention the person. Okay, so I have to say, uh, if in a status post, can I find that here? Uh, right, so the text of the status, you can see this, text of the status in reply to ID. So this is important. So I'm going to say, um, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, Please specify an angle in degrees using digits. Because <laughs> it won't work if you say the word 90. <laughs> then I need to say uh, uh, in reply, what is it? In reply to ID. In reply to ID is that reply ID. And then also, um, I, I want to use their, the account. So I'm gonna, uh, I want to start with the account. Uh, account, uh, and do I say at? I think I have to say at the account. Uh, please specify an angle in digits. Then in reply to ID. Okay, so this is good and I'll call this, uh, and then I'm gonna say uh, uh, response, um, I'm gonna say params and response and su uh, success angle negative one. Okay, so this now should, if I run this, and, you, and then I'm going to put an else here. This function has gotten quite long. But 
basically what I'm doing is first I'm checking if there was a legitimate angle. And if there wasn't, I'm replying back to say, please specify an angle in degrees. And then uh, let's see how that goes. So right now if I run this bot, oh, I forgot to make a new one. That's fine. I'll have to, if I run this bot, somebody should feel free to at mention me without a digit. Can somebody do that, please? All right, somebody at messaged me. Thank you for helping me uh, debug this. And I got an error in bot.js line 25. Bot.js line 25. Ah, response, response, response. Sorry. Response, response. All right, let's try this again. Be prepared. All right, at mention me with no number, please. You can put a number in it, but it won't work if you put a number in it. All right. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> someone please, ah, there we go, okay. So let's take a look. So someone mentioned me with a number. That's great that we had both of those tested. Um, and we can see this one uh, said, please specify an angle in degrees using digits. That's right. And then this one uh, just said, behold my beautiful tree. So I haven't done the thing where I actually get the angle. So let's, let's first, let's just first, if I really do get an angle, let's do all the same steps. But right now, I'm going to also add uh, at account. So I'm going to mention that account uh, with angle. And then I'm going to use uh, the angle that they asked for. And then, so this, and I need in reply ID. In, what was it? In reply, same thing. In reply to ID. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Here we go. In reply to ID. Okay. So now, if I run this one more time, you can now at mention me with an angle and you'll get a tree back, or you can at mention me with no angle and you will get a message back saying you need an angle. But I won't be using the angle you <laughs> asked for just yet. But let's just see if this works. Okay, great. So we can see that we got one, two, three, four, five mentions, one of which had a negative one. So let's see, uh, let's just check our bot now, and we can see 60, 38, 56. Now here's the thing, I'm not actually using the angle, it's still just a random angle. <laughs> so um, what I need to do is, oh, and I forgot that I was pulling it out of here. So it's actually not, let, hold on, let's, so we see Alka asked for 56, and I made a tree with 52. So now let's take this out right, and actually try to use that angle. Now here's the thing, I can't just, how do I do this? So what I'm actually going to do, this is interesting, is I need to go back to that exec command. Where did I have that? Where is that? Oh, command. So that's, whoa, it's all the way, way up here. So what I actually need to do is I need to add another argument to this. And so what I'm going to do, and I think, where do I, I haven't done this in a while. Let's, all right, let's, let's do it this way, sorry. Let me grab this command. We're gonna figure this out together. And I'm gonna go back to here, and I'm gonna run that command. So this runs, and I get the, I, that spits out the angle. Now there should be a way in processing for me to get the arguments. How do you get the uh, arguments in Java? Okay, I looked it up. I, I can't believe I forgot this, but um, uh, processing actually just has built in a variable, built-in variable called args, which has those command line arguments. So I'm going to put print, print array args, and now I'm going to do this. And we should see, whoa, oh, there, it's null, because there were none. That's weird. Because where do those go? They're not here. Where, how do I pass arguments? If I just add something else, like here? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so if I just add, the args come at the end. I thought maybe some of these might be args, but of course there's none. So we can see here, if I just execute it with an argument, like with the angle 40, then uh, blah, blah 40, because I have some, I had a BL in there, blah 40 comes out. Okay, perfect, this is much easier than I thought. All I need to do is now say, uh, command, where do I execute that command? Right here. Uh, execute command plus uh, space 
angle, right? And I guess I could use a template literal there. So I just need to add that angle there. And you know, I probably want to double check to make sure there are any args. But um, right, if args is not equal to null, then uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna make this a global variable a equals zero, and then I'm gonna say a equal args index zero. I guess that's gonna be a string, right? So I need to convert that to an integer or a float maybe, uh, and then I don't need it here. And now here we go. So now if now let's take out the exit just so we see. Let's do this. Uh, processing Java run with the angle 10. That looks like the angle 10, right? Now let's run with an angle of 90. And that looks like the angle 90. Perfect. I've passed in the angle. And so now I should be able to, I mean, right, is there anything left to do? I think this works. Because I got the angle, I've got the angle, I'm going to give it the angle. Um, yeah, all right. What the hey-ho? Let's run this. <laughs> ah! Node bot.js, Mastodon bot starting, and now uh, I'll just wait for a little bit. Try test anything you can imagine. Oh, whoops, sorry, stop, stop. It's funny, like, actually, this is fine. I forgot the exit thing. So amusingly, I forgot the exit thing. So it's opening up processing, but it's never finishing. So it's actually that exit thing is very important uh, because uh, I forgot that I had that in there. I've got to put that back in there. And let's try this one more time. And here we go. All right, thank you everybody. This looks like some good amount of testing. Let's go now to uh, bots in space and take a look. Here is a behold my tree with an angle of 90. Please specify an angle so we can see here. Nope, right, that worked. Here, a right triangle has an angle of 90 degrees. I love right triangles. There we go, perfect. So uh, 89, uh, and there we go, 128 degrees, uh, 128. This is working, yay! <laughs> This is done. So I hope now you have enjoyed. You can imagine sort of, I mean, there is another piece to this that I could do, which is what if the person sends me an image and I do something an image and send it back. I guess I'll have to come back another day and do that one. But now you can see the full process that you can have another user at mention you with some data text data, use that text data to generate an image and send it back. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you make some wonderful bots at Bots in Space and I will see you in a future video.